off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hey guys, I'm gonna put you down here for a second Can you see me? I feel like I'm in a day of mourning this morning. Went to bed last night knowing that Maui was on fire. Maui, Hawaii. It can't get like to the city, right? Like it'll just be brush fires. It might get to some homes. Most of Lahaina is lost this morning. Banyan tree is gone. And I, like all of you that love Maui and Hawaii are messaging me this morning. And so, which is fine. It's like we all have this, this feeling of like, absolute like devastation <sighs> more bad news <laughs> more bad news sorry that's total private news it's just absolutely horrible that I just got it's not about us or our family but it's still devastating news it's just like they keep coming and it's not that I'm devastated for I'm, I'm devastated for this place that has um that I've like it it's in me like if you've been to Hawaii and if you've been to Maui it gets in your soul. And so it feels like a part of my soul is, is like devastated, you know, because it's like burnt down. And like I have a friend who grew up on Maui, his dad helped like build part of Maui and like even like part of Kauai he helped build. And so he's sad and he's like the banyan tree being gone. It was like, it's like from 1800s. And like, <sighs> this isn't just like a vacation place. It gets in your heart, it gets in your soul, but it's also devastating for the locals and the people who live there and make a living there. Like their livelihood is gone. The people who live in La or live and work, or if they don't live there, they work in Lahaina in the hospitality business, in the hotels and the restaurants and the shops. And like, I can't even like, I, it's just devastating. This is their livelihood. But I'm just, it's just devastating. This last trip that Jason and I took to Maui, well, we went with the girls in April. We went with everyone in April. But the time before that, we had gone, just the two of us, for a little anniversary trip. I had gone into the, I think it was the Billabong store. <laughs> The sweet lady that works there, she's young, she's in her 20s, had remembered us from our anniversary trip last October to when we came back again with the girls in April and remembered us every single time we came into the store because we love Billabong so much. We love the Hawaiian prints and we just, anyway, and I just think she's out of a job now. She's there living her life, you know, and now she's out of a job and all these other people that like make it their livelihood um, living and working there in such paradise it's just I don't know so I'm having a hard time like getting out of my head because it's not necessarily affecting me we don't actually have a trip planned to Maui for probably a few years and um, we plan on doing Oahu next year definitely now plan on doing Oahu as much as we love Maui we kind of need to see other islands and experience some new you know memories with the kids and I want to see my cousin my cousin lives on Oahu but her in-laws live on Maui they live in Hana and hopefully their businesses weren't affected because they are in Hana, but like it, their livelihood is dependent on tourism. So devastating and I'm having a hard time getting it out of my head. I'm all function, it's fine. It's just a lot and just thinking of them and I'm kind of feeling like I should just do a little Maui remembrance and I don't want, I think people who have been understand. So if you haven't ever been to Maui or if you haven't been to Hawaii, just think of somewhere that you have visited that means so much to you and now it's gone. It's gonna, they'll rebuild, but you can't rebuild historic buildings. Like, it's just devastating. But I am going to get my father-in-law medicine. <laughs> but it takes me this long to kind of get ready and respond to all you guys' messages that are sending me messages. There's probably more. I probably haven't responded to everyone. Tanya, Nicole, Lynn, uh, Jane, Melanie, uh, Patty, Lydia, like, um, it's so great to have like this connection with you guys on something that like, like some would see it as like so superficial to like have this connection about a place like Hawaii, um, a connection with people about a place. But like now that that place is partially gone, it's like that connection with people is so much stronger, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it because it's like we've all been to that place we all love it for almost 
identical reasons. We all feel it in our hearts in a similar way and we're all kind of at a loss. Together, we're all mourning this thing, this place. I don't know, I don't know why it's affecting me, but I know that it's affecting others that are not even there. And I can't imagine the vacations people have planned and pl paid for. And I can't even get on Facebook today because the, the Maui groups that I'm in, I can't even. I have to just tune it out right now because the devastation of lost vacations and prices and lost money is devastating. I can't imagine the amount of money lost from people that have to cancel right now. And, and insurance companies and companies better step up to the plate and reimburse for this. This is, there's nothing people could have done. I'm just on a rant. I need to let my father-in-law know I'm coming and we'll see what I can like, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna pull out my old Maui stuff and just do that. Cause I think that's the only thing on my head and I don't have any other plans and I don't care.